Hey everyone, so today I want to show this doc. It's a Reptology Life Science brand and it's actually by Penplax too. And it's a large turtle pier. And the reason I want to show this is, uh, I've got it set up over here. I believe this item was about, I don't know, it was under $20. I bought it online. And it's a few nice features. It has suction cups on the base of each foot. So if you got a glass bottom tank, which most people do, it'll suction then it'll stay in place where you want it to. This top platform floats, so it goes up and down as uh, as your water level changes. And underneath, there's tons of uh, air holes, so it's going to float really well. And then it has a ladder over here. So this is going to enable your uh, turtles of a dock that's fully out of water. Let that fall. See how it's got a lip around the outside? So it's pretty high and it's not going to get water in here. So let me go ahead and put this in my tank. Let me see if this is too tall. Well, that should fit just barely. There's extensions on these. You can make these taller or shorter, as you can see. My tank's pretty tall, so I put some extensions on. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my tank. It's going to take up a good amount of room. Oh, it floats, that's for sure. Try to put it down straight so the uh, air stays there. My tank's a little dirty now. Oh, I didn't get it stuck down. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to lift it out of the water and put it down flat. I want all those square air bubbles to hold the hold underneath really strong. Now what I'm trying to do is move the uh, sand out so I can get a suction on the bottom. Having, having some problems get suction down here. There we go. And actually, I didn't have to worry about not getting. Uh, now I can now I can get pretty good suction because I can push each one of these down individually. It's probably an easier way to do it. And now I can get uh, the air back in there simply by raising this up so it's out of the water, and now lowering it back down level. And it should be all filled up with air. There's a little water stuck in here, but that'll evaporate out and get most of it out. So now, this is going to hold a lot of weight. I'm pushing pretty heavy on this, and water's not getting in. So this is going to create a completely dry turtle dock, where my turtles can get in and out easy, and they can get completely dry. As you can see, these older types of turtle docks, they float, but they're still always wet on top. If a little bit of weight gets on them, they push under. Your turtle should be able to get out of the water and stay completely dry and this is going to allow them to do that. So it helps. Oh, 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 my light's falling. Second light. So there it is in the tank a little bit. You can see my tank's a little dirty on the glass but you can see it's a lot higher than the water. And it doesn't take up much room because underneath you, they could still swim through there. It doesn't look the best, I don't think, but you could maybe cover that up with some plants or some rocks. And it is still open swimming area. And it provides a really great dock. So just wanted to show that. Uh, look this up online. I think I bought it on Amazon, and uh, it's really great. It provides a lot of out of water area, and should keep them dry, like I said. So check it out. See you guys later, and uh, happy pet keeping.